Hello everyone watching live. Welcome back to One Hub Silverstone Grand Prix for points tier season 19. Apologies for uh, what's just happened. I don't think it's my fault. <laughs> I think it's the games. And Sully has, crucially, uh, recorded the end of qualifying on his end. So when it gets uploaded on to YouTube after, everything will be nice and combined and whatever and sorted out. Yeah, we should be all good in that aspect. Yeah. So I missed I the end of qualifying, and Sully crucially read out that it's speed 1-2, and our two title rival contenders are down in 8th and 9th. What a mental end to the session. Yeah, it provides a very good, uh, good prospect for the race. And... Uh... Formation lap is on the way then. Yeah, it just said you're now spectating. Of course I am. I pressed spectate. <laughs> Thank goodness it didn't put me in a car. I did that once in another league I was racing. Uh, not racing, in commentating on. And it just put me in a car as I'm about to go five red lights. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Get me out of this car. I shouldn't be here. <laughs> but yeah. Quinn ahead of Yuri, so Quinn beat Yuri to pole position. Lawrence ahead of Speedway, who improved on the second row. Uh, Ferrari 4-5 with Mason in sixth. Uh, Red Bull 7-8 and not the best qualifying for Aaron. I think that might be his worst qualifying of the season in ninth. Uh, King Jin, our final driver inside the top ten. Uh, every driver that's starting on fresh tyres are Neon, Jake, Colin, Rageman, Giggle, Jacko, who made it into the session mid quali, Liam at MFC, who retired at the start of the session. Tyre choices then. So Aaron is starting on the mediums inside the top 10, interestingly. With Neon, Jake, Rageman, Giggle, Liam, and MCFC, the drivers outside the top 10 starting on the mediums. Colin and Jacko are going aggressive off the start. It's going to be an interesting start. It's going to be a case of turn one, well, turn two essentially for uh, Silverstone. Whoever leads into turn two could have the best chance to pull away. We've seen the two speed guys at the front work together to pull away before. Uh, so we just need to now see if maybe Lawrence can get in part of this action. Maybe even the two championship battlers Gazaman would like to probably pull away from Aaron as much as possible, but we know Aaron's got the pace in his Mercedes as it is, but these two are like Hamilton, uh, Hamilton Verstappen-esque in a Mercedes Red Bull anyway, so see what happens there, and I will hand over to Pete for the start sequence. Thank you, Sully. Yes. We've seen these guys work together. Can they do it this time out here in Silverstone? It's going to be a tricky one because it's such a fast circuit and so many DRS zones. <clears throat> it's going to be difficult to break away from other drivers. Why did I have that on my screen? Five red lights. And it's lights out and away we go. Quinn ahead of Yuri. Yuri's going to have the inside into turn one, but I think Quinn's got the better start. Ahead of his speed teammate. It's the same down towards fourth. But I think Trunders and Gazaman have both gained a huge amount of ground on that start. And fifth and sixth see them as Gazaman and Osuli go side by side. But Gazaman holds on to P6 at the moment. Trunders gets by the second Ferrari. So that's a fantastic start for Trunders on those tyres. And it looks like Speedway might lose another position to the other Red Bull. Side by side between those two. Down towards Brooklyn's. And a little bit argy bargy there from Gazaman, but gets the position. And it looks like the two Ferraris are going to look like they're going to go side by side down towards Cops. Any incidents to report on? So, uh, this is pretty clean for the most of the back, well, not the back markers, but the rear of the field to go side by side. King on the inside of O'Sully through Cops. And they're going to fight this one all the way through Maggots and Beckett's. I think King Kindred's just going to have it. But the only incident we had was Rage Man who had a bit of a spin. It's now about six seconds back and I don't think he has any damage. Just uh, just some very warm medium tyres. Very hot. 
medium tyres. As we look at Neon down the inside of Osterley now, making his Alpha Tari as wide as possible on those medium tyres. So loving the medium tyres, clearly don't have much of a long warm up. We've got Colin in the pits straight away. So two stop as your ways, and this is the longest pit lane on the calendar, I believe. And with it being a two stop, if there's no safety cars, the undercut can be significantly fantastic for you if you get it right. But there's yellow flags popping up everywhere. Hopefully, not what we want to see. Jack is in the pits for front wing. Uh, Aaron's lost a lot of ground. He's down in 16th. I think he was the guy who caused that yellow flag on the pit straight. King Jin gets by Speedway and then out to 6th. Four positions gained, and we're only halfway through lap two. Yeah, so I think it's been a bit of a spin for Aaron, who uh, is now finds himself all the way down to 16th. And Liam, also in the Alpine, is missing the front right-hand side end plate. So he's got 45% wing damage there, so he is going to be coming into the pits soon. So maybe some contact between the two, but I don't know for sure. I imagine it was just a spin, but uh, Liam is so slow, you can just see it as a uh, rage man goes past him but uh, the fight near the mid pack then got ferrari of o'sully on the back of speedway he's going to move to the inside of his ferrari teammate down the inside he goes nice and easy not going to be fought too hard maybe o'sully's got a little bit extra pace than speedway the rest of the drivers just keeping within each other quinn starting to pull that gap a little bit to yuri but not too far all the drivers Managing the RS now, DRS is disabled. Maybe we'll see some moves as Speedway gets passed by MCFC. So maybe Speedway is just struggling on those soft tyres. Maybe just can't make can't make the tyres work with his car with his setup at the minute. But the rest of the drivers sort of staying in a similar place. Gazovan too far back to make a move on his teammate, but his teammate will make a move on Lawrence. Not quite close enough for the two there. So we yep. look back to Liam in the pits. Colin will get by him. And Jacko, by the way, put the hard compound tyres on. Yeah, even though it's two-stop, uh, Jacko's going a bit bold there with hard tyres. Probably wants to go a very long time, maybe just until any safety car. Because a so the one-stop is very easy around here. Soft medium can work and very feasible which is why anyone who picked that one can significantly get to the end uh, with no issues but will miss out on the faster compound of tire at the very end speed quinn is a little bit under pressure at the moment the two speed boys have worked a gap ahead of the rest of the field ahead uh, broken out of that one second window i was going to mention that with the DRS being activated, you think this group of cars that was within one second of each other would have stayed with each other, but that's incorrect because if you were closer to the car ahead than the car was behind you, you'd get a more benefit of slipstream, more likely to get an overtake and pull away from behind. That's what we saw between the two Red Bulls, and that's what we've seen between Kingdon and Neon. But that could crucially be just between compound difference between Neon and Kingdon, and Neon will effectively come back into this race uh at about lap six lap seven and that's where the mediums will probably be better than the softs yeah indeed and crucial for lawrence though he got drs so he will not get past oh suddenly now down the inside of neon it's going to turn into the outside line but he won't mind because he's already got the move done and now mcfc can be lining neon up so the medium tire maybe had a really good start phase but now maybe started to lose out of that little bit to the sauce. Neon's going to try down the inside into Cops and this is going to be a moving off if he pulls it off. They're still side by side, run out of room there for O'Sully but uh, nicely done and well fought back into P7. So Neon now has a little bit of a train behind him and goes for a spin as I say that. So that's Neon into the gravel, keeps it out of the wall though but will fall down the order. Just got to be careful of the uh, Haas coming towards him at speed. But uh, unfortunately, there for Edge Runners, we have another yellow flag. That is just for him getting back on the way. So, leaving O'Sully and MCFC to fight into the last sector. Yeah. Um, that's three overtakes I've seen through Cops now in this race. And all of them have been on a Ferrari. 
So the Ferrari is either being very sensible or getting really bad exits out of Luffield to get them uh, to be overtaken through Cox. But luckily, no contact between any of them uh, during any of the overtakes. Nice and clean, giving each other a lot of space and a lot of respect as Nian has retired from the session. Is that it's a safety car? That's a spin out of turn one. And we now have a full course caution safety car in this race. This will benefit any drivers that did pit early. They can catch back up to the field. However, any drivers that want those soft tyres will probably pit if they get the opportunity. Safety car is only just now exiting the pit lane. And the Mercedes should get by. Right, but this train of cars, a lot of them will box. It's going to be very easy for Quinn, Yuri, Lawrence and Trunders to box and get out quickly. Because they don't have a teammate ahead of them. Whereas King John's going to have to suffer with Quinn ahead. Gazaman will have to suffer because Chunders is ahead. And MCFC, if he was to pit, could do. Could run two softs to the end now. Including this because of the safety car stint. So if he pits, could be susceptible to being held in the pits. Because his teammate ahead will get first. Same will happen to Speedway because O'Sully's in seventh. And down the field, I'm not sure a lot of these drivers will pit. Maybe in the McLaren of Mason on the softs. But a lot of these drivers are on mediums and will probably go a lot longer. Guess who's made his second stop already? It's Jacko. So Jacko then on the mediums, gonna have to go a long way, but he's completely ridded of the strategy, like what's the, the mandatory strategy he has to do. So now he has free raid, which was probably a smart move as nearly everyone comes into the pits. So Aaron does come into the pits. So it's just MCFC and Giggle who will probably pit next lap maybe but both are medium so we'll both lose out massively whether they pit or not yeah if they were going to pit they should have pit then because they're going to catch up with the safety car which is waiting uh the exit of the loop essentially down the wellington straight and we'll pick up mcfc as race leader you basically jack has made his second stop and could comfortably wait a minute Oh, I thought there was a glitch then. I was on board with MCFC and then it said lap 6, went on board with Jacko and it said lap 5. I thought it was a glitch, but it's not. They're just on different parts of the racetrack and Jacko hasn't started lap 6 yet. But yeah, Jacko can go to the end and he's just going to have to keep a clean nose now because uh, longest pit lane and if there's no more safety cars, he's in the hot seat. Everyone else will probably be on softs. But it's going to be very difficult to close down a 30 second window. So it's a 30 plus second window in six or seven laps, maybe 10 laps at tops if you go into lap 16 on these mediums. Yeah, Jack has just got to keep his nose clean. Uh, same with Liam on the hard. He'll definitely go to the end on those as well. So these two could be. Uh... Well in contention to win this race, but again, it's only lap six. We've only had one safety car, so who knows? We haven't had any penalties either, which is uh, interesting. So three drivers have already made two stops, and we're only on lap six. They are Colin, Jacko, and Liam, and they all will be able to go to the end. Two of them on mediums and one on hard should comfortably go to the end, especially with the safety car. But they're going to have to burn a bit of rubber to catch back up as the field is already coming towards Vale. Uh, I can see Colin coming towards Michael's Beckett's. Jacko is going towards Cops and Liam on board is now running through Woodcut. Pitters, Sully. Ooh. So our race leader, MCFC, has decided to box now. Will drop all the way to 14th place. I don't think Colin, actually Colin might actually get him. But will be, he won't be under a delta either, so he can go full bean. So I think Colin will get these. He should come out ahead of Jacko though. And Jake's done a similar strategy, although, yeah, MCFC's gone for two stop, soft, soft, which is going to be good for him. He's going to be the quickest driver on track for potentially the rest of the Grand Prix until those medium runners put their softs on because then they'll be fresher because MFC will pit earlier than those guys should. Yeah, Jake's got for a smart move as well. Put the hards on because he knows they'll make it to the end and he can push them a little bit more. He's just got to make sure they maintain the temperature throughout the race. So Jake, Jacko and Liam all on the same strategy now essentially go as long as possible if 
your tyres will Colin. survive. And Colin as well, yeah? Yeah. And oh, Colin. yeah. So Colin's technically net race leader, but he's down in 13th. And he's got a lot of traffic ahead of him to get that P1. Going to have to keep a clean nose because you don't want to get any damage for the rest of the Grand Prix if you don't plan on making any pit stops. No rain forecast, so shouldn't need the box. Nice and sunny here at Silverstone. And I don't think we'll get on the way just yet. We might because the second sector ending split is down the hangar straight and the only car we left to catch up is Liam Jacko's practically there and we should get this race back underway hopefully this lap there we are set car in this lap yes so now Giggle has a chance to take lead of this safety car queue he's uh, not made a stop yet his tyres are not too old six laps old so everybody else has fresher tyres but six laps isn't major safety car is still not in the pitch yet so could do it maybe yeah. a little bit slower but uh, we will see where he goes when he goes nice and slow then around the final corner power down now quinn nearly goes for a spin it's going to give yuri a chance gets past him and now quinn's going to be under pressure from lawrence into turn one lawrence didn't want to make the move just in case, you know, a bit of precautionary as oh, Aaron. Oh, I think Aaron's side by side. Yeah. The two Mercedes don't want to be doing that. MCFC makes advantage of that on the softs. And they'll be quite warm, actually, because he'd have caught back up to the pack quite late. Lawrence and Trunders are going side by side through the loop. And now, as they go on to the Wellington Straight, it's Lawrence from Trunders. Yuri now ahead of Quinn. But the only one obstacle left to, over to get by is Giggle. He's going to try up the inside into Brooklyn's space left on the inside. Now he's going to go the long way around the outside through Luffield, but he doesn't want to make any contact Ooh. as he gets squeezed off the track and now going to lose position back down to P3 to Quinn, who's got an amazing launch out of Luffield. He's going to go around the outside of, of Giggle. They respect each other so much that they didn't make contact, but they make contact there. Yuri gets through. <coughs> almost through on Quinn it's going to go side by side through Maggots and Beckett but Giggle has managed to hang on to the lead Quinn has retained that P2 Yuri down to third and Lawrence and and Trunders yet to capitalise on that squabbling yeah I think they, yeah, a lot of the drivers played it a little bit safer they didn't want to make a mistake do anything too risky as uh, King Jun got himself a penalty in that little bow so he drinks that one as Rageman and Colin Colin down the inside MCFC to try down around the outside into the final few corners going to make that move there so Rageman not wanting to fight that too hard but now we look at Quinn again look how close he's to the back of Giggle through turn one so we have a soul Ferrari off that speedway off in the final sector shouldn't be a safety car because he is going again but Yuri under pressure from the Alpha Tauri of Lawrence who throws it down the inside and oh it's too wide oh Trunders has gone for a spin I don't think Trunders should have done that, personally, because the other drivers were just so aware on each other that going up the inside there would have only been costly for yourself. Lawrence has got ahead of Yuri. No DRS yet. That gets activated three laps after safety car has been called in as same sequence as uh, a race starts. So, yeah, flag sector one and two. That is Red Bull of Trunders. Still not Ooh, facing the right way. Quinn's gone down the inside of Cops into the wall. That's Quinn out of this race. He was doing so well. He just won too many accidents. Uh, one too many attempts down the inside of Cops. And there's going to see a fatality. Retirement for Quinn then. And Giggle in the lead of this race. Maybe going to pit now. We have another safety car. And you just have to think, Quinn, what were you doing? You know you were going to get past him at some point. I'm sure oh, he, Sullivan can insane. clip that from his POV. I didn't quite catch it. I was on board with Trunders trying to recover his car back onto the track as the incident happened. I wasn't expecting an overtaking to cops, to be brutally honest. I know we've seen it. Uh, Lawrence Pitts giggles in. Well, I think uh, I saw a Ferrari. Really? No, not a Ferrari. Oh, yeah, McLaren of Mason's in the pits. Jacko coming in for a third stop but I suppose fresh mediums or a set of hard tyres either way Speedway will come in to make his stop as well and so will Trunders who went for that spin after colliding with the Alpha Tauri so you saw it you saw it happen 
Would you point a finger? Would you say someone's at fault? Or... There's no finger pointing, really. It's just a case of Quinn's gone want... down the inside and just understeered. Yeah. I believe it's just one of those accidents that isn't really uh, blamed. It was... It's just... Yeah, it was so, a Hamilton Verstappen style of incident where Quinn's on the inside, Verstappen's on the outside. The understeer of Quinn essentially has pushed him into Giggle on the outside, correct? Exa exactly. Only yeah. this time it's, and this time uh, it's Hamilton. It's the inside dri driver on the inside who's come off worse, which can happen with the contact model on this game. So, Yuri, now with no traffic ahead, only the nice, beautiful British Racing Green Aston Martin safety car to look at. Probably throwing up in his visor as we speak, knowing him. <laughs> no, actually, no, I think he might be partial to the Aston Martin anyway. We'll soon find out. Hopefully he listens in. I'm sure he watches the races. I know he's confirmed a few times. And this could be a good time for Yuri to get himself a victory. He's in a good position. He's got a little bit of traffic behind him to fight off. King Jin's quite pacey. Gazaman's still there. Uh, MCFC is up to 5th on those softs. Colin up to 6th can go to the end. Aaron will have to make more stop. Can be seen as fast as Giggle's got a 5 second penalty for a severe collision with Lawrence. So Lawrence has hit Giggle and Giggle has now been penalised for it. That will be served in his second stop unfortunately. So not likely to be removed. Although Lawrence might get punished for causing the collision as drivers should be really careful on the safety cars. Uh, as Sully now pits for his second and final stop. Yeah, safety cars are out of the lap, so you may as well pit again. Yuri stays out along with all of the top five now. Yeah, so the top five. Other than Colin, so Colin has made his two stops up in a really good place on medium tyres, I believe. So depending on tyre wear, Colin should be looking at going to the end. He's only got about 9% on his uh, most worn. So Colin could go to the end of this race, but those drivers that pit in the latter stage to uh, to the soft will be extremely quick in the final few laps. You mentioned tyre wear. So the best tyres of anyone inside the top 10 is, in fact, uh, Jake on the hard tyres. He's got the freshest tyres of everyone, only 4% worn on those. The worst worn is Rage Man. However, he has done four laps on those. He's on 11%. The soft tyres of MCFC, having only been on three laps, are on 11% as well. Uh, Kingston on 10%. Yor is on 9 and 8%. So the drivers at the front still got a good amount of grip and should have a good amount of grip. It's all about getting temperature when the safety car restart happens. I think MCFC, if he's going to be... The driver to watch out for because he may have the better grip having getting the heat into the tires a lot more easier but alfa romeo 414 at the moment it's a good sign for them yeah good good start to this race we're 11 laps in so not quite halfway distance just yet we'll be soon i believe the safety car should go in this lap don't see why it wouldn't and then uh, we'll be underway yep there's the message so this time it's Yuri gets to lead uh, the safety car restart. I don't know whether TAS includes media, anyone using medium traction control. Because according to this, Yuri's using no traction control, but I'm pretty sure he's on medium. So I think anyone who does run medium traction control will be said as off in game. When will Yuri go? Kingdon's going to be hot on the heels of the Alpha Romeo. And Yuri looks to get gone before the final corner. And we're green once again here in Silverstone. And a fantastic launch from Yuri. Already pulled eight tenths on King Jim behind. And looking to try and get that one second window before DRS gets activated. And Gazaman is going to be under pressure from MCFC. Lunges it up the inside through turn three. And now into the loop. Making most of those soft tyres before making his final stop onto probably another set of softs. Yeah, good move there from uh, MCFC. It's what he needed to do on those softs. He's got to go and hunt down the leaders if he wants any chance of winning this race because he's going to be on the medium tyre at the end of this race unless he goes... Because he started on softs, I believe. But started on mediums. Trundles. Oh, did he? So he could go yes. soft. soft. Trundles down the, outs down the inside, killing the outside of Speedway. They're side by side 
as they head now towards Cops. Gets a penalty for going a little bit wide. Pushed off the track a little bit. Still side by side. Just about gets the move done. So we won't see a move into Cops this particular lap. But the speedway is going to go wide. Maybe allow his teammate to uh, get run on the right hand side. It's going to be the outside through Maggots and then gets the move done. Speedway backs out of that once again. So the Ferrari swapping positions as uh, we kind of expect. Now... Trunders has a run on the McLaren the top though, MCFC and Kingjin are side by side, Kingjin on the right MCFC on the left, so it's a good move for MCFC to get ahead of Kingjin he's now going to go chase Yori down and Trunders didn't quite get past the McLaren but he's going to look down the inside now, can't quite find a way past there could get a clean exit on the McLaren as they run out the final corner nearly clattered the gearbox of the McLaren we're going to go off the inside into turn one not really an overtaking uh, corner but if both drivers show respect as we've seen in cops anywhere is possible to overtake yeah Mason showing the respect also backed out a little bit and uh, now has the two Ferraris to uh, defend from but at the front Trunders uh, not Trunders sorry MCFC has got to get that gap to Yuri down to get back into DRS it's 1.1 as it stands he just needs to get in the DRS and once he's in the DRS the move would maybe start to open up for him We're on board with Lawrence he's going to go up the inside of Giggle through Cops we've seen two drivers already go side by side it was Quinn and Giggle this time Giggle and the car on the inside do not collide Lawrence doesn't get the position though backs out of it and retains 11th Giggle holds on to 10th but on the fresh and medium tyres, along with Lawrence, should start gaining ground on not only his teammate ahead, but the rest of the field as the gaps are not really that big. No, we've got a, we've got a few gaps forming out the front. Kingdom maybe not quite being able to keep up with MCC on those softs, but MCC is closing down now on Yuri. He's got the DRS or will have the DRS when it appears. It's taking the fastest lap for good measure. Will we see any moves into turn one? Doesn't look like anyone's going to risk it. No one really close enough to make a move into turn one. Got to I was be, saying I've got to have be brave. Sorry, Pete, to get yeah, no, no. move to I, into turn one. No, 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 there was a gap in your break of speech, <laughs> and I thought, go for it, and then it bottled it. <laughs> I was on board with Lawrence. So I thought he was going to go for a move into turn one. He was the closest on track. He could get a move down into uh, Brooklands. Weaving and left and right is Giggle round the outside as Jake gets by Rage Man up ahead. The Hasses are in a bit of a battle with the Alpine and Alpha Tauri. Rage Man is still battling Jake. They're going to go side by side. Jake's going to have the inside. Hass on the outside once again. Respectful driving once again. Jake gets the position. Rage Man down to ninth. Giggle still hanging on to tenth with Lawrence in eleventh. Been a very close battle for P9 as it stands. P8, even should I say, Jack of Picks up a time penalty at Beckett's. But you always got front a, two also yeah, you always, very close. You always got up. a good amount of straight line speed because even with DOS, MCFC has only now caught up and he's had three loads of DOS. No, two loads of DOS on the track already. It used because to be you three. Played the team game, though. I don't. Uh, I don't think he'll play a team game this in. Uh, no, he'll want the win. I'm pretty sure he'll go guns blazing for the win. Those softs are going to start to heat up and wear out now. So Yoris tyres are going to, even though they're eight laps older, be a little bit better than MCFC. And we can see that on TAS. Yori was 17 and 15 on the front, 14, 13 on the rears. The Alfa Romeo. Inside. Swap positions. Not really fought. Yeah, Yori didn't really fight it too hard. I think he knows that. Uh, MCFC's soft will die off soon let him push and clean air for a little bit and then see what happens he's got the Williams of Kingjian about a second half back so not too much of a not too much of a gap but enough gap to have a bit of breathing room as it stands as Trunders gets past Giggle it's on the inside at Cops yet again we've got a hassle on the outside a Red Bull this time on the inside Giggle pulls out of this one it might get a better run on the Red Bull not going to be able to make a move into Maggots and Beckett's. Just that little bit too far back. See how well he can follow Trunders through Maggots and Beckett's. Alphas might swap. 
the Alphas might swap positions yet again. You already got DRS and stay within DRS. They'll do it, yeah, not that bad on this game as he runs wide. I speak of Dirty Air. Dirty Air probably made him run wide on the power too early and, and gets himself his first time penalty as Rageman does exactly the same and gets a penalty himself. But yeah, all that as well. Trundles did get past Giggle, but Giggle's got past Trundles again, so I wonder if Giggle got the uh, better DRS. one down the straight after Beckett's. Yeah, DOS would have been very beneficial. Yeah, this is a, a game that you're always now going to have to play with uh, MCFC. I'm going to let you use your tyres up ahead. I'm going to sit behind, hold on to DRS, you can pull me away. And as soon as I start having an opportunity to overtake, which could be now actually, to the inside goes Yuri. Up the inside, lots of space left by MCFC. Really relinquished the position, essentially. But with the DRS zones being in the positions they are, this gives an opportunity for MCFC to get that position back on the run down to Stow. But into Cops, shouldn't be any overtaking opportunities between these two you don't really want to be colliding with your teammate that's one main rule of formula one don't collide with your teammate as trunders and giggle are side by side through cops once again and giggle retains the position on trunders after trunders got it back on the exit of luffield through Magnus and beckett's is there a change for the lead that's going to be happening we'll stay on board yes. with that because that's going to be a fight for victory mcfc gets back ahead at yuri doesn't fight it mcfc gets the deeper line into into stoke but doesn't run wide and holds position. When is pit stop time though going to be for these drivers? Will they wait for a safety car? I think lap seven, no, lap eighteen could be the safest bet for either of these two. Really, maybe lap seventeen for MCFC, lap eighteen for Yuri. Bit of squabbling oh, further behind. It's been gone for a spin. Yeah, I saw some position changes, and that was Jacko getting up positions because he effectively cut a lot of the track gain on but yeah Jacko not having a fantastic race here at his home Grand Prix in the Aston Martin as well down in 16 yeah made the three stops made the stops early on as well so people will pit and come out behind him if he can uh, carry on on those tyres so still some salvageable points for sure but who's people sign a good position right now Colin is sighting a very good position as long as he doesn't get another safety car come out because he's sighting fifth with everyone around him having to make that second stop yeah that is true However, Colin is going to have to take these tyres nine laps from now, where to everyone else who's going to be on a lot faster rubber at the end, going to be flying. It is quite a long track for track time. You'll be in the 120, 130s or high 20s, so 29s maybe, on those soft tyres. Maybe even into the 28s, what we saw in qualifying at the start, as the fuel gets burned off. When do these guys pit? Yuri could get the undercut. It trunders in. Trunders is in the pits, and Yuri takes the lead back. Yeah, just talking. I was just going to say as well, the Alpines both behind Colin, both made two stops on hard tyres. So the two Alpines, very much in this fight as well as maybe a two, three, even a one, two. As Gazaman picks up a three-second time penalty, and also we have Aaron in the pits in his Mercedes going for the undercut puts the I think that was the soft tires on it was the soft tires so soft tires for Aaron gonna take them about eight laps if he can yeah seems about right because MCFC's done exactly the same and that's what I was predicting from uh, Aaron no not from Aaron from MCFC because he started on those mediums pitted under that safety car we had and could run two softs as Lawrence and Jake go side by side. I think those hard tyres are starting to come into a very good working window as he tries to go all the way around the outside of Lawrence through Luffield, but now, no, through yeah, through Luffield, now down towards Cops. I always get muddled up a little bit between Brooklyn's Luffield and Woodcut, but that's the order they go in. Now this is an opportunity for Jake to not only get by Lawrence, but to start clawing in his teammate who is at the moment looking in a very good position for victory last week he secured his first podium of the season second place at that in the alpine and boosted his way up the championship order here's an opportunity for him now does he go up the inside he does but lawrence is a little bit later breaking around the outside can oh. run that extra bit wide yuri in the pits guard penalty sorry to cut in for that but yuri just <laughs> Potentially throwing his race win chance out the window with that penalty as Kingen 
now leads our race. Yeah, Colin in a very strong position. We're going to have to keep an eye on those tyres, and we will on TAS. It's going to be really crucial where that window of graining is going to happen on those tyres, and the pace is going to be significant to him and Liam and Jake behind, who could effectively have done the entire race on these tyres, because that's how durable they are. Just looking at Rujaco as well, we know he had that spin, but he has come out just ahead of where the leaders were when they pit. So Jacko's still in for a very good chance of some points with a few drivers left to play. So P11 might move himself up to P9 after everybody's made their last pit stop. So keep you know what? him because these leaders have to get all the way through these drivers. You know what? Giggle and Trunders, sorry Whiskey, are going to try and go side by side with the cops yet again. <laughs> <laughs> They're giving it a right good ding dong at the start of sector two so with the benefit of drs i think whoever's behind gets the better run and then whoever's ahead will keep ahead unfortunately for the driver behind this could be the opportunity that trunders needed but that straight line speed of the Haas is very strong up the inside trunders goes on the Haas, and is that move finally done for the red bull or is the Haas going to go around the outside? He doesn't. He does go into the pits, and that's going to be an undercut for Giggle to the end on soft tyres. Yuri got undercut by MCFC. MCFC got a penalty. Is that track limits? He didn't have one, I'm sure. He now it has a track penalty. Limits. Yeah, he's got his first track limit warning of the race. Uh, Colin now in a very strong position to take his maiden victory this season. But he's got two charging Alpines behind to watch out for. Lawrence as well is a, can be an issue. But has got six seconds worth of penalty. He's got fresher tyres and can go to the end. Everyone has made their mandatory tyres now. Mandatory stops now. Everyone's to the end. If there's a safety car, we could be up for some cracking racing. But there's only six laps left to go at the end of this one. And folks, I'd stay tuned because it ain't going to be over for a long while. Yeah, we spoke about the two Haas drivers finishing well. Two Haas drivers are now 15th and 16th after that round of pit stop, so not great for them as uh, we've got MCFC on the back of Jacko towards Cops. He's going to get the slipstream, he's going to look to the inside. Jacko's not going to give it him, he's going to make him go the long way around. So MCFC's going to back out on this occasion. He's going to try and get the better run. Try, that was got very close there. I was going to say try and get a move into Maggots and Beckett's, but. He had to uh, break just a little bit harder to uh, not run into the back of Jacko. But uh, yeah, the front four, front five, in fact, looking looking quite comfortable where they are. Maybe Jake trying to make a move on Lawrence. Liam's getting closer to Colin as well. So medium tire runners are going to start to die Ooh, off. That little squeaky bit bum time. For Jacko, as he loses position to one Alfa Romeo, could lose to both of them in the space of a couple of corners. Jacko has some incredibly good straight line speed. What I noticed as they ran through Cops, uh, MCFC does not have a lot of ERS and still doesn't compared to Jacko. Jacko lets Yuri go through on the faster tyres. And Jacko didn't really want to give that up to MCFC, but got a little nudge on the exit of Stowe. He ran wide. And that essentially gifted the Alfa Romeo P9 and now P10. Yeah, Jacko doing everything he can almost to uh, maybe help Yorga along a little bit. Is that sort of like speed, Jacko? <laughs> <laughs> we could only imagine. Anyway, looking now towards the front, people, the grid, the gaps between the guys at the front is evening out a little bit. A second, two seconds, and then also another second. So. No DRS for these guys, apart from Liam. He's not got Maybe it. Maybe if he keeps if he keeps it within that second for the next lap. But uh, the closest pile on track is the McLaren of Mason behind Sully. Yeah, closest battle there. They are running through Stowe now. I don't think he's going to move. It's he's in a Ferrari sandwich essentially. He's got a Sully ahead, Speedway behind. Yuri and MCFC go side by side. Yuri with the benefit of DRS. Gets through on his teammate oh. as there's contact between the two and Yuri is round into the wall. No front wing. Will that be a late drama safety car? If he can get it back on track quick enough, there won't be one. Could be blocking the pit lane, but he's going to have to go in there anyway. The yellow flag is cleared. No safety car as King Jun hits, gets the fastest lap. Jacko gets another time penalty. 
and the gap between the leaders is now less than a second. Yeah, so we've seen both speed drivers today spin off into a wall, one of them out of the race, the other one now in the pit, so unless the safety car comes out, Yuri will just be driving around in P16, unfortunately for him. But that doesn't stop us commentating as Colin picks oh. up penalty, so Liam now in the box seat to win this race. He's going to end up doing it on track if he can take keeps this speed and pace up because he's absolutely flying the medium tires like i said earlier are going to start dying off very very soon so uh could be the end of uh, some of these medium runners fast stints yeah those tires are significantly worn on that mercedes 41 percent on the front left 36 on the front right compared to the hards that will wear out slower than the mediums as well as they progress 33 and 29, so 9 and 7% uh, difference between the two. And it's showing that those hards are now in the perfect working window, especially the rear tyres, very cool and calm at the, at the rear compared to the Mercedes. 10% uh, difference between those two sets of tyres. Uh, Jacko's in the pits yet again. And while all that was happening, Gazaman got past his title rival, Arad, so... The extra points that he's going to gain from making that move will help in the titles. We have a yellow flag Hass. for a Hass. Yep, that's Rage Man going for a spin at the final corner. Oh, he's trying to drift it through the final corner. He's got his teammate right behind him about to overtake him. Chow Chow from the Hass driver. <laughs> <laughs> and Giggle now up to 13th as Jacko has made yet another pit stop. And King Jin gets yet another penalty. Leo in the box seat. His teammate... Not catching up, actually, and Lawrence is on a charge and could snag P2, even though he has three seconds more penalties. But he's got a lot of pace with three laps to go. Yeah, Jake picked up a three-second penalty there, so Jake's going to have to make make a move on track on the likes of Colin. If you can stay within three seconds of Lawrence, we'll get that position. It just needs to uh, keep us called the hard tyres, then. Like you said yourself, coming into that window nicely and... Uh, Probably the ideal type to be on. These medium drivers might start to suffer. Maybe we see the likes of MCFC catch up to these medium runners towards the last lap or two. But uh, it's going to be close. It's going to be very, very close indeed between these front four. Yeah, incredibly close uh, come the end. But I think because they're in a DRS train and Liam might have to pace over Jake, uh, that gap's starting to get bigger when there's DRS. So because Colin's managing to stay on DRS as he's using it right now, not only is he staying ahead of Lawrence, uh, he's uh, holding on to a podium and definitely P2 at the moment. The yellow flag, that's Yuri. That's Yuri. No front wing for him. Exit of Cops. Leaders are coming through this section now, so he will be lapped. This could be interesting, though. There is ghosting, so he should ghost no matter what. But not a good day for the Dutchman yet again. And after proving his pace in Singapore, the next two tracks, quite open, quite fast, have not he's not been successful at. Ooh, change for P2. Colin and Lawrence have swapped positions on the one to Stowe. That's Lawrence now ahead of Colin. Colin might be... Uh, playing the strategic game with this part because he had lost DRS of Liam and now if he can stay within three seconds of Lawrence will uh, guarantee himself P2 yeah onto the penultimate lap of this Grand Prix Liam again still looking likely to win this but P2 is still not secured by any means Jake could have a uh, burst of pace maybe towards the last sort of sector maybe the last lap he goes for it see how close he can get every driver has a penalty apart from liam yeah i was going to mention that i was looking at it and i was like how many positions is colin going to lose based on penalties and i just scroll through the list of penalties and it's just like none he's not going to lose any <laughs> because everyone behind him has got either the same or more So That's fighting how... for positions, bar Lawrence, essentially. Yeah. But the gaps have started to open up. Sully could try and get inside the top six. Uh, both Ferraris could get inside the top seven. 
uh, if they can get by the McLaren of Mason. Is there going to be a change for the lead, however? Because Lawrence has gained ground on Liam this lap and has got DRS. Hasn't got much overtake and neither has Liam. So it's going to be straight line speed and slipstream and DRS benefit for Lawrence only down towards Stowe. You can see that flickering light at the back of the Alpine showing that he's less than 10% harvested ERS as late on the brakes goes Lawrence into Vale. But uh, no move yet. This could go to the final lap and which is what we are on now. One lap to go here in one hub round seven. And positions are changing left, right, centre. Kingjin's now inside the top 10 throw on Gazaman. Not a great championship show for our championship leaders. Downing 11th and 12th and only really battling for a position inside the top 10. Probably will get, Gazaman will probably get 10th and Aaron 11th. But let's go back to the leaders. Will there be a change for position? Even though he's got penalties, he may still fight for it. What Lawrence does down into Luffield can be crucial for the second half of this lap. Yeah, it can indeed. It's gonna, it's gonna really come down to the final straight, the final sector. Both of our top two low on ERS actually. So um, Lawrence has got a decent amount. He's got more than Liam. Uh, yellow flag is that for Yuri? It is for Yuri. Go for fastest lap, I imagine. Spinning off of the track once again. So again, not a great evening for him. But look how close Lawrence is to the back of Liam. But Liam just gets that exit. And just he can just go off this straight and now both drivers ERS DRS for Lawrence he's going to try and get it on track Liam's surely not going to need to fight this they're going to go side by side anyway Lawrence can't quite get the move then on track he's going to then look to maybe the inside into the nearly penultimate corner and now in the penultimate corner but Liam is going to maintain his finish his P1 and he's going to come all the way from 16th or somewhere like that to win here in Silverstone, Colin jumps up to second, Lawrence in third, followed by Jake, Trunders, Mason will come home sixth, I believe, then comes Sully, Speedway eighth, MCFC ninth, Gazaman got by Kingjin in the end to finish tenth, Kingjin, Aaron, Aaron, sorry, then Kingjin because of Kingjin's sixth second penalty, then comes Giggle in the Haas, Jacko will be 14th in his Aston then the other has so unfortunate for the has drivers not a great finish today and then Yuri goes for a spin but will finish 16th I believe yeah he's two mates and Beckett's Jacko, quite a way to go Jacko let Rage run by he just wonder is Jacko out of fuel no has he got a puncture oh no, Jacko's gonna do some donuts spin across, across the line, the line. As a Brit would do. Down in 15th. And that's Tim Martin in Silverstone. I suppose he has a reason to. Here comes Yuri then in his Alfa Romeo. What could have been for the Alfa Romeo driver? Ends up being probably the worst position other than not finishing. So fortunate for Yuri, but uh, we know he's got the pace to win a race one day. Yeah. Only three rounds to go in this season that's the games driver of the day and also i'm going to steal it probably from you because you're probably thinking ah. driver of the day. <laughs> yeah you stole mine once i'm going to steal yours so liam not only is race victor but my nomination for driver of the day he managed to succeed at driver of the day last week and has done it once again with back-to-back -back podiums getting that one step higher on the podium with first place congratulations to liam He's my nomination. Your question is, do you think you would have been on the top step of the podium come the end, being uh, being starting at the back? Who's your nomination? I'm going to give it to Colin, the second place driver, because he just drove, he drove very well. He drove a little bit conservatively, but conservatively got in P2. So good race for Colin in the end. And a question to Colin is, can you... Actually, no, I'm going to ask a different question this time because I always ask if they can win a race. I'm going to ask a question about this race and is, was the, stra was the strategy something that was spoken about before the race or was it sort of an on-the-fly strategy and do you think strategy is probably the most important reason for your P2 today? So there's our driver of the day's done. 
Yeah, so there's your results. Liam, Colin, Lawrence are your top three. Jake Trunders, Mason, Sully, Speedway, MCFC and Gazaman got top ten. Championship leader Aaron Dan in 11th with Kingjin 12th. Giggle, Rageman, Jacko, Yuri, your final finishers outside the points. Quinn and Neon, the only two drivers failing to finish compared to last week's 10 drivers. I thought it was a quite successful race. It was indeed. And for once, we didn't get a safety car near the end with, our, with me commentating. Maybe we did. The curse has been broken. <laughs> Maybe so. So. So so. So next week. So so next week for round eight three rounds to go as i mentioned we are heading to if i can find the calendar there it is we are heading to it won't load for me risky oh there we go we are heading to austria, austria. and that's a good track i like to race around myself personally you are a race winner around that track as well as am i, I but am indeed but who will be points tiers race winner next week in Austria? Find out next week, uh, either on Twitch or YouTube. We'll find out next week what where we'll be streaming on. Um, be sure to check out uh, Precision Pinnacle and Podium Tiers, who are all streaming on YouTube. I believe Pinnacle will be on Twitch. Uh, keep an eye on our Twitter and Discord for all the information regarding this season and the up and coming or already going second season of ACC. Thank you all for watching and thank you Sully for joining me. Any final words? No, just a pleasure to be here yeah, again. Hopefully I can be there for the last few rounds and uh, again, hopefully see you all next week. Yeah, hopefully I'll be there as well. We'll find out. Thank you all for watching and see you all next week. Bye.